Hello there and welcome to my channel. This is Esther at Stampin' Star Creations making a special card for one of my team members who hit Bronze Elite and I'm using a mixture of stamp sets, Quiet Meadow with Honey Bee Home. So these stamp sets go beautifully together and I'm just taking out the more sprig type, longer, blossomy, meadowy stamps. <laughs> so a couple from the Honey Bee and then the uh, meadow flowers from the Quiet Meadow stamp set. I'm going to go ahead and ink this up in Versamark. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do this because I can't really see where I'm stamping. So I've done a cross shape with the longest flower that I've got out of the Honey Bee set and then in between roughly the crosses I'm then going to stamp the meadow flowers. Now I'm not doing this too precise, precisely because I do want it to look um, like a meadow, I don't want it to look as if the flowers are specifically positioned. So in order to help me see where I'm going and rather than stamping anymore, I'm coming in and adding in my copper embossing powder and I'm just going to give this a heat treatment to warm up the image and then it's easier to spy where the gaps are in my image. Then I can come in and put these lovely spriglets in between the gaps. So I don't want all the gaps necessarily to be filled because there's other things to go on the card. So I'm just going to heat emboss that. And then coming in with the spots and dots from the Quiet Meadow stamp set. And I'm just going to use these to go around the edge again in the same bronze colour. So using the Versamark ink just to add those dots around the edge. And this just helps to give it a real free organic looking feel to it. So at the moment everything is in that lovely copper colour, but I'm coming in now with Coastal Cabana and I'm going to mix up with the copper colour and using the script to stamp. I love this combination of coppers and blues, I think they just go together really beautifully. I think because you kind of find them quite naturally, they go together nicely. Then coming in with my blending brush to add in some colour around the edge of my card. I'm using my, these are new to me, these nice different skin tone colour blends and I've tried to get the number in there so you can see it, SU500, so these all have numbers, these ones, and I think that's 100. I've got my glasses on and I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to desperately see what numbers they are on the screen, but hopefully on a, you're watching this on a bigger screen you'll be able to pick up the numbers if you want to follow along, so that's 200. So just using these kind of natural tones to fill in some of the flowers. Then coming in with this large, I think it's two and a quarter punch, and then a smaller punch. I think it's maybe two and a half, mm, I don't know. Anyway, retired circle punches so, <laughs> to fill in the middle. It takes time to wind down though, doesn't it? Yes, okay. two and a half, and then the white is two and a quarter. Then such happy news, and the bees are going in for embossing, and again, giving the same blending treatment around the edge. Now I did think about cutting up the sentiment but I like the ideas of the bees hanging on to the sentiment and holding them up in the air. So just using a bit of blue from the blending brush for their wings and I'm just going to use the same skin tone colours to colour the actual bee in themselves. So thankfully these comes with dies and I can just easily pop these on the edge. And I'm also using the matching dies to cut out some more copper um, of the dies, the meadow flowers. Now I'm really sorry but this video comes to an abrupt end. I made this in a bit of a, a rush, I was trying to get it done. And so here's the finished card. I hope you still enjoy the finished card and get a sense of what it looks like in the end.